In a recent video, I talked about certain details that I found in the Twisted Ones graphic novel, and in that video I talked a lot about what I'm going to be talking about in this video. This video is basically going to be a review of all the similarities the Twist Ones has with Security Breach, as well as a little bit from the fourth closet as well. After discussing the similarities, I'm going to talk about a really cool idea that I had about the future of FNAF. Whether or not that idea turns out to be true is doubtful, but there are actually some little tidbits of evidence, and if it does turn out to be true, I want to be able to say that I predicted the big twist. But anyway, let's just get into it. I think the first thing we should do is summarize Security Breach as well as the Twisted Ones. In Security Breach we play as a young boy named Gregory who climbs inside Freddy's stomach while he's asleep and then gets locked inside Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex until 6am. Oh shoot. No, no! Wait, I'm still here! Now what am I supposed to do? The doors reopen at around 6 a.m., so Gregory has to figure out how to survive moving around the pizza plex. How unfortunate, Gregory. You missed your chance. But there is still hope. You should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. I promise. At 6 a.m., we can get back to the main entrance and we can choose to leave. Do all that, leave the building, and you get the leave ending, where Vanessa finds Gregory sleeping in a box, and presumably kills him or kidnaps him. But there's a lot more than that. You see, throughout the game we have to do boss fights against the animatronics. Oh. This is exactly from the trailer, right? Yeah, it's it's the Monty boss fight. Oh, this is a boss fight, uh oh. You need to run away, just run away as a it's about power. And take their parts and upgrade Freddy with them. With Roxy's eyes, you can see the outline of collectibles, and they are the only way to find the retro CDs. I'm, how many do I have now? Five? Four? Go in front of the stage with Freddy. Why? We'll see. Okay. I do not come up here anymore. I miss him. With Monty's claws, you can break gates that have a no Monty sign on them. With Chica's voice box, you can scare away animatronics as well as break down certain types of gates. But you have to pick at a certain point whether you go for the Chica boss fight in the sewers or the Monty boss fight in Monty's golf course. And the only way you can have all three upgrades at the same time is if you stay at 6am and go back to complete the other boss battle that you haven't completed yet. In my eyes, the better boss battle to do first is Chica's because honestly it's much easier, and it's also mi miles better for people who are into lore because of this Afton family easter egg. Oh Jesus! what the f***? It's the Afton family! There's Circus Baby, there's... Mike? I don't know. They're wearing like a baseball cap, but they're also wearing a striped shirt like Balloon Boy. Obviously this isn't Balloon Boy. Nobody in the family That's... in the family becomes Balloon Boy unless you believe BB Victim, which is a shitty theory. Um, who's that? Is that William, maybe? Yeah, William. Um... That's the wife. Is that... And the headless one is Bite Victim. Is that so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bite Victim, yeah. For the headless one. I was wondering. I was like, why is there no head on this sh Um, how do I collect this? Throughout the game, mostly through the Freddy upgrades, you can find secret rooms from Help Wanted. What? No way. Why are there trees? Right there. Oh. Angle's room. Oh. Holy sh Wait. This is... This is... Uh, this is Freddy's repair in FNAF VR. A few minutes later. It looks like this takes elements from all of them. A little bit, yeah. Mike's room from sister location. <gasps> oh my f- This is f This is sister 
location. It's Michael's room. What the f and the entire FNAF 6 building. What? So it yep. was true. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. That's, uh, yeah, that's FNAF 6. E yeah, in what a lot of people believe to be the true ending, we must get all the upgrades to Freddy and find a Monty gate down a stairway in Roxy's Raceway. Going through the gate, you will find an elevator locked behind a Chica gate, which you need Chica's voice box to get through and when you go to the elevator freddy tells you it looks unsafe and will probably only be a one-way trip when you go down you can find generators in the cave leading to a building called freddy fazbear's pizza place from the cousins of in fnaf 6 we know that freddy fazbear's pizza place is the fnaf 6 building this is more clear when you go inside and see the same stages we purchased in fnaf 6 the basketball minigame from fnaf 6 as well as the same floor and table colors there's also a big hole in the building, and when we go down, we can find the new version of Molten Freddy, the Blob. I have changed. Oh my! My friends are here. They are so angry, confused. Molten, I can. It's Molten you. Freddy. I the Blob has a bunch of new stuff inside him, though, like Mangle, Chica, Bonnie, the puppet, and Baby. It seems after the fire, the scrap animatronics, excluding Afton, all combine together. When we walk past Molten Freddy, we fall through the floor and get a cutscene revealing that Afton has been trapped down here the entire time. What? What the hell? That also makes sense with the, with the music thing, with the Music Man things. What the f- What? What is that? That's oh, that's Freddy. That's Freddy. That's Afton, yeah. Is he? Oh my god. Yeah, I figured it out. They're all, after the fire, they're all trapped under there. Molten Freddy, probably the puppet. Um, that's why the Nightmare On things are everywhere. And that's why William's here. He was trapped down here the whole time. What the hell? In my first Security Breach Theory video, What Happened to Afton, I explained what all this could mean, so go check that out if you haven't already. But there's much more to talk about within Security Breach than that. Like, why Bonnie and Chica are in the blob, and why Mangle is as well. I have an idea for them, but it's still confusing why they're here in the first place. But yeah, that's basically the game. And there's more, still more stuff than that, but that's basically the general stuff. What I'm gonna do now is reiterate what I said in my What Happened to Afton video. Because once I talk about the Twisted Ones, you're probably gonna freak out but only if you know everything that I'm about to tell you. The FNAF 6 fire didn't work. We know this from the ultimate guide, as well as the general design of the FNAF 6 building not being that scorched up. And we can also tell by the fact that all the scrap animatronics are still inhabited. But what the FNAF fire did do is disable Afton. His suit was basically destroyed and he was in a dire need of repair. After the fire, Fazbear Entertainment goes down and scans parts of the animatronics onto circuit boards. Mainly Afton is the really the important one. But then they lie to the public and say that the fire destroyed everyone and the killer is gone. With the killer gone, maybe the public is totally fine with Freddy's reopening. And so they open Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex at some point in the future. But then all of a sudden they backtrack and say those horrible things that ruined Fazbear Entertainment's name were all lies made up by a game developer. But it turns out Fazbear Entertainment hired the game developer. But anyway, Fazbear Entertainment hires the Silver Parasol Games Company to make them a VR game to discredit all the quote-unquote lies from the past. They also send the old animatronic circuit boards to the company and they scan them into the VR game. But since William's soul is within the circuit boards, he manifests in the game as Glitch Trap. He begins possessing people until making it to Vanny, who doesn't find the strength to fight back, making her the perfect candidate. And so William manipulates her. He gets her to come down to the FNAF 6 building and repair him. Possibly with Bonnie's parts, but he definitely is repaired partially with one of the glam rock endos. Then she sticks him in the recharge station, which begins drawing power from the pizza plex and charging Afton so he can come back with more energy. Because he's kind of been deprived of it for the past 10 years, maybe more. So that's basically the gist. As we know though, there's more than that. Vanny also infected all, the, all of the FNAF AR animatronics with the glitch trap virus, meaning William was controlling all the FNAF AR animatronics. Same thing with the glam rocks except Freddy. So what I'm getting at is that William Afton was basically wrecked during the destruction of a Freddy Fazbear's location, so we, what he does is find a way co to connect a bunch of animatronics to his mind. He can psychically control the animatronics. So with all that, 
let's talk about the Twisted Ones. The book takes place after the Silver Rise and when Charlie is in college, but one day Clay Burke approaches her and tells her there's been a body that seems to have been springlocked. She begins investigating this and her first thought is to go back to Freddy's and try to find Acton's body. She and Jessica find that he's been broken down by the demolition of the building, but really if you think about it, using the twisted animatronics to get Charlie to investigate is actually what sets William free from the room he's trapped in. Later in the book he even says that he owes Charlie his gratitude because she set him free. He basically manipulates her in order to get her to free him. If that doesn't sound familiar yet, keep watching. <laughs> Later in the book, Charlie finds out that this is the work of Afton controlling the twisted animatronics. When she continues to go investigating, she gets trapped in Twisted Freddy's stomach and she brings her to another Freddy's location. Everyone comes to her, Afton makes his great return, they battle, Charlie Bot number three quote unquote dies, blah blah blah. So first I'll say what happens in, the sec in Security Breach in one sentence, and then I'll say what happens in the Twisted Ones in one sentence. In Security Breach, William Afton is trapped in an old Freddy's location, one that had a mall built on top of it might I add, and he was broken to to events in a previous installment of the series. So he manipulates someone to let him escape, and he also controls animatronics with his mind while he's still trapped. In the Twisted Ones, William Afton is trapped in an old Freddy's location, one that had a mall built on top of it, might I add, and he was broken due to events in a previous installment of the series, so he manipulates someone to let him escape and also controls animatronics with his mind while he's still trapped. D d do you guys see the similarities? You must. But guys, there's more. One of the most random inclusions in the Twisted Ones is one of the Twisted animatronics, Twisted Wolf. Twisted Wolf kind of just randomly appears in the book, and it's just kind of confusing as to why exactly they are here. But then the same thing happened in Security Breach with both Monty and Roxy, but more specifically Roxy since she is a wolf. Another interesting thing to note is that when Twisted Freddy has Charlie in his stomach and he brings her to the other Freddy's location, it really reminds me of how Freddy in Security Breach can have Gregory in his chest and bring him places. That connection may be a little bit looser though, but I still thought it was worth mentioning. So now, before we get into my incredibly f***ing wacky idea that is probably not true, let's talk about something else that falls into the same category as the Twisted Ones. Wanna take a guess? Well, my most viewed video in quite a while was pretty recent and it was about this topic. Well, partially anyway. You guessed it, The Fourth Closet. You see, as it turns out, The Twisted Ones is not the only book in the novel trilogy to have big connections to Security Breach. In Security Breach, William is basically getting recharged and repaired with help from Vanessa. And I also just want to mention that Vanessa has blonde hair and green eyes just like Elizabeth who obviously possesses baby. And in the fourth closet, William is getting infused with Remnant which he is using to help his body recover so he can become immortal and even more powerful. Slightly similar, but he's also doing this with baby's help, who as I just said, is possessed by Elizabeth and seems slightly connected to Vanessa. Though the design through the design as well as other stuff in the game such as the CDs and the Princess Quest ending. But I'll expand more on the connection between Vanessa and Elizabeth in a future video. But wait, there's more. So at the end of the fourth closet, Carlton inside the Remnant world tells the dead children the truth about Afton, and so they work together and throw him in the fire. Keep in mind that they worked with him before, but when they find out the truth they turn on him and throw him in the fire. Now let's look back to FNAF 6. The missing kids are also inside Molten Freddy just like how they're inside the Remnant amalgamation. But they still work with William, implying that he has been manipulating them in the game universe as well just like in the books. Fast forward to Security Breach and the Afton ending, Molten Freddy still helps William try to kill Gregory, probably for the same reason as the Remnant amalgamation almost does to Jacob in the fourth closet. Jacob, not my brother, the character in fourth closet, yeah. Oh! Get up oh hi! They think he's just going to be a new friend for them, but for whatever reason, which we don't really know yet, Molten Freddy, or technically the blob, but he literally is just Molten Freddy, as I said. He still has the missing kids inside. But anyway, for whatever reason, they turn on him and attack him, and let's not forget that they turn on him while the building is erupting in flames, which implies a connection with how they, are, they throw him in the fire in the fourth closet. Now that's all very interesting, but I still have my epic idea to talk about. I've referenced it quite a few times that I have an absolutely wild idea about what this connection with the Twisted Ones could possibly mean, if anything. The idea I have is so cool to me. I severely doubt it will happen, but it's so cool to think about, and on the off chance it does happen, like I said, I want to be the one to say it, I predicted it. So here it is. The Glamrock animatronics are the Twisted animatronics. No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, this is my idea. 
As I said, Freddy carrying the protagonist in his chest and taking them places in both continuities is pretty interesting. But what's even more interesting is something in the Ultimate Guide. Though Twisted Wolf debuted without a name, there's speculation that it could be a twisted version of Roxanne Wolf. Guys, what if... Okay, but that's not all. There's something else we need to talk about. Something that was always weird to me about the Twisted Ones is that Twisted Chica didn't exist. Or at least, she didn't appear in the Twisted Ones. So, why did she have merch? That was weird to me because we always knew Twisted Chica existed, but we never saw her. But wait, doesn't that sound familiar? If you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I don't think I've ever said that sentence before, but whatever. I'm talking about Glamrock Bonnie. We know for a fact that Glamrock Bonnie existed, and we even know what he basically looks like, but we have never actually seen him, just like how it is with the Twisted Chica. As we all know, the novels and the games a lot of the time have these differences that are very subtle to the point where it happens basically the same way, but with something else. Like how Cassidy is a missing child in both continuities, but she possesses a different animatronic in the books. In the games from both Toy Chica of the High School Years and Pizza Party from FNAF VR, we know that William stuffed the children in the animatronics. And we see Gift Gifts Give Life in FNAF 2 implying that the puppet is the one partially responsible for the children possessing the suits. But in the books, William still stuffed the, stuffs the children, but since the puppet doesn't exist in the novel trilogy universe, the children possess the animatronics without the puppet's help, all by themselves. This year with Chica and Bonnie now could be showing that there was a missing twisted animatronic in both universes, but in one universe it was Chica, and the other one it was Bonnie. There's only one animatronic that doesn't really fit. Glamrock Freddy would be Twisted Freddy, Glamrock Chica would be Twisted Chica, Roxanne Wolf would be Twisted Wolf, but would Monty really be Foxy? That just, that just doesn't really fit. It's still a possibility since the Twisted Animatronics use illusion discs, so they could just be used to make Monty look like Foxy, but either way I feel like that would just be a little weird. This is one of the parts of this theory that kind of makes me think it may not be true, besides the overall wackiness, but I still love this idea and I see it as kind of being a possibility. So remember, if this ever happens, just remember that I was the one to predict it. Hey guys, Evan from the future here. I just wanted to let you know that I actually just realized something that could connect Monty to Twisted Foxy, even though it still kind of doesn't fit to me, but there's the fact that Monty gets his legs chopped off, and it looks kind of... If you look at him, it kind of looks like he's like stuck in the ground, and that could be a reference to how Twisted Foxy is in the book. Like his... I'm, I think it's his only appearance, is it? I don't remember if it's only his only appearance, but like his first appearance, when we first see Twisted Foxy, he's trapped in the ground, and they just look kind of similar there, like in a similar position, I guess. Also, I wanted to let you guys know of one other connection that I forgot to mention in this uh, video between the Twisted Ones and, the, and Security Breach, uh, and that's the fact that Dave is the one, Dave, which is William, obviously, he was the the security guard at the mall, right? He was the security guard at the mall that was built on top of, of the uh, old Freddy's location, right? And there's also one of the one of the, the duffel bag messages actually talks about an employee named Dave, who somebody thinks you should they should fire or whatever. And that just really made me think that that could be another connection. But yeah, that um, that that's all. Bye. <laughs> I can just imagine myself in a few months, and a Security Breach DLC comes out, and I start playing it, and halfway through, I turn to Freddy, and he looks like a monster. I can only imagine my reaction. Since I would be playing it on a live stream, I would freak out and scream that I actually got it right, and people would be laughing at me in chat. <laughs> I'd be so happy that I got it right, but let's be honest though, I probably didn't.